Hi guys, uh, not sure how the sound's going to come out in this video. Welcome to the channel, Thailand Dreaming, love letters from retirement. Today I'm going to begin telling the story of uh, just how I got here to Chatham. Okay, I don't know how many videos I'm going to make during this. It'll be a series, it'll be one, two, three, maybe four, I don't know. It just depends. It's a pretty long story. I don't want to make the videos too long. And uh, yeah, so I hope you enjoy the story and uh, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. You'll see the uh, subscribe button down there. Hit the subscribe button, as I said before. It doesn't cost anything to subscribe to the channel and uh, it helps me build my channel. Okay, so this morning, well, mid-morning, I've just had brunch at uh, Tony and May's restaurant, which is Cha Am Steakhouse. There's no one else here, so I thought I'd take the opportunity in the quiet time to uh, start this little series off after my uh, chat with Simon from uh, Land of Smiles. I've decided to start uh, doing a little series and telling some stories because at the moment can't travel anywhere. It's very difficult to go anywhere because of the lockdowns and the uh, situation <coughs> surrounding the, the coronavirus. So yeah, here we go. So how did I get to Cha Am? Yeah, just how did I get here? Well, okay, some of you know me, and uh, now I'm starting to get quite a few subscribers. Well, you know, building. So some of you don't know me. So I'm an Australian. I was living in Australia. I retired. Uh, I divorced probably about a year or so before I retired. Uh, it was uh, an amicable amicable. Uh, divorce there was no nastiness or bitterness it was uh, just time our time had come so yeah so I'm not going to talk about what I did with money from houses I sold or uh, other such things uh, I will discuss later on uh, you know how much it cost me and how I live here in uh, Thailand on a pension so yeah so uh, I spent a year living alone almost the life of a monk just working and sleeping and eating and that was about it for a year totally celibate and uh yeah but really enjoying myself and uh learning a lot about myself and uh i already knew quite a bit about asia i lived in indonesia for 12 years before coming back to australia after some uh, poo fights and poo hitting the fan in uh in indonesia and started working again and uh, when I retired I'd uh, already started returning to Thailand I'd been traveling to Thailand since probably 1970 quite a few times and uh, as I said I, I understood and liked Asian culture uh, very much uh, I loved the culture in Thailand more than just about any other Asian country that I'd been to and uh, so I eventually got involved with uh, a Thai lady a very lovely Thai lady and developed a relationship over a few years of traveling here uh, and decided I would move to Thailand and uh, I was going to marry this lady but unfortunately, uh, some things happen, things change, my feelings change. Uh, you know, it just went tits up in the end after I'd moved here, you know, we lived together for a while. And we lived in a, a, a one room apartment type uh, dormitory thing in uh, a place uh, uh, probably a couple of hours outside of Bangkok. Uh, and then eventually we moved to another province where she had a house that I put a fair bit of money into to, uh, yeah, westernize a little bit, new kitchen, new bathroom, blah, 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 some money. And, uh, but, you know, coronavirus hit and at that time I was feeling a little bit isolated and uh, 
not really feeling it and it all went tits up anyway but you know it, it was okay so I needed to get out of there pretty quickly and so I had some very good friends here Rob and B you know who you are and uh, they assisted me in finding me a place here in Cha Arm, a condo and uh, so in a matter of a few days I'd made the decision and I just packed uh, most of my stuff up I actually brought a container load of stuff from Australia I left a lot of it uh, with her and the family and stuff that I didn't really need so uh, I was happy to leave that with those with them and uh, and so I headed off on my adventure to Cha Arm. Came to Cha Arm. If you look at the first video in my videos, you'll see the condo. Uh, I might put a link uh, in this video to that particular video, and that was the condo that uh, my dear friends Rob and B had uh, sorted for me down here. So I moved down here, and the very day I moved here, I moved straight into the condo, and my life in Cha Arm began. And I've got to tell you, it's probably one of the best moves I've made in my life. I really love Cha Arm. It's a, it's a tourist destination for, mm, well, I would say mostly local tourism. Since I've been here, there hasn't been too much foreign tourism because most people that left, a lot of expats that lived here left. And of course, tourism died in the butt severely because of Rona unfortunately so it was pretty quiet it's a nice quiet beachside town a lot of seafood restaurants and of course you've got all the tourist things you've got all your massage shops and and uh, you know you've got everything you need here there are big supermarkets there's a macro which is uh, uh, I'm not sure I think it's a Dutch or German owned chain or whatever and, and they have everything they have Western foods they have you know, meats imported from Australia and New Zealand and, and, and many, many other uh, items available for uh, foreigners, for West expats, Falang as they call them, or Farang as they call them here. So, call us here, I should say. Yeah, so there's everything you need here. There's lots of clinics, there's a hospital, there's a beach, there's, uh, there's everything. There's quite a few expats here. I've, I've made a few friends here. I've got some very dear friends here and uh, people that have helped me. And so I spent quite a few months in the condo, the condo. I will put a link up in here to the, to the video about the condo. So what do you cup, man? So what do you cup, Tony? Right. I'm, I'm just not too bad. I'm just making a little YouTube video because it's nice and quiet here. And I thought I'd do it in uh, Tony and May's uh, <laughs> Cha Am Steakhouse. Yeah, so. Tony and May have just returned from an outing to, I think, uh, Hua Hin? Yes. Yeah, so, um, yeah, so that's the beginning of the story. You, know, you can have a look at the video about the condo, and I spent quite a few months there, and then eventually I moved out of the condo, and some other dear friends here, uh, Matt and uh, Ray, they sorted me with a friend who had a house in Cha Am, in Sport Village, where I am now. So, that's the beginning of the story. So uh, what I'll do is I'll continue the story later on. There'll be two or three videos about how I got the Cha Am, what it's like in Cha Am, Cha Am uh, what I do, blah, 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 blah. So I hope it's interesting enough for you. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel down here where the uh, subscribe button is. And uh, until next time, thanks very much for watching. And uh, See you next time. Ciao for now.